Hiya everyone, today I'm going to be doing a look that's going to cheer me up, hopefully, because I'm having a bit of a pooey day. It's been a long day, it, the weather's crap, it's rainy, it's wet, it's freezing. I put a pound on today after being extremely disciplined and on a roll losing weight. I'd lose three pounds that week and now I've got to put one back on. And I know, I know, it goes up and down, I know. But it's still annoying. It's damn annoying. So I'm not impressed with the scales today. It's not. I'm not its friend. And I walked for miles yesterday. I went on the treadmill for 20 minutes, sweating. And I went on a massive stomp around the town, sweating. No, nothing. Fuming. I reckon it was Martin's bacon and cabbage and cheese slaw. He made that. He done a video last night. I'll stick a link up for you. But I'm gonna blame it on that, the bacon, because it's gotta be. What else would it be? But today, I've had such a hunger for everything. I think I'm not midway in my cycle and I'm just gonna blame it on the hormones. Cause all I wanna do is eat. I feel like I've eaten like a pig, but I haven't. I've just thought I've eaten like a pig. Cause I'm constantly thinking of food. Does anybody else get like that where you're just constantly thinking of food? It's horrible. It's not fair. So I have my omelet and my avocado and my salad for lunch. And then within like two hours later, I was like, oh God. I need to do something, I need to eat. And I found myself in the fridge with a big tablespoon and I was eating extra thick cream because I don't have sugary treats, you see, even though I really wanted them. So if I if I ever get the urge, I just take it out on the cream because it's like less of the two evils. But even then, there's no saving us today. Shocking. So we're going to be using this palette, the Morphe palette. I love this one. This one is your 39A Dare to Create. And I'm going to create because I'm in a funny mood. I've already put my foundation on with my sponge and me. This one here is light beige, Milani. What else? Right, okay. So I've got some P. Louise base. Someone said, have you tried the bases? Yes, I use them quite a lot. The problem is this one's too light for my skin tone, as you can see, look. But it's gonna have to do. Bring me mirror close, cause my eyesight's not what it was. I just talked to my friend Ashley today about getting old. It's kind of just disheartening when you see your skin change. And especially when you do this kind of thing, you just see yourself wrinkly and makeup doesn't go on the same as it did once. And it's very hard to get accepted sometimes, but I'm going to get on with it because I'm going to grow old gracefully and just be grateful to be alive. But I'm going to go right up with this, I think. Just cover the whole eye. It's lovely. It's very sticky. My makeup should go on properly with this. I think I tried this a while ago and then took it off because it was too light. It is quite light look. But once I get my eyeshadow on there, I should be good to go. Should be good to go. I've got... I'm going to do a painting for a friend. I was supposed to do it ages ago, but sometimes when I've got something hanging over us and not much time, I kind of like just do it. I just go in a trance and I don't know, like, I don't know if that's anxiety or is it normal or what, but sometimes I just feel if I'm going to let someone down, I lose my confidence in something and I think, right, I can't do it. But then I did the painting for our wall the other day and I was so, so, so happy with it. And I mean, so happy with it. Like, just absolutely love it. So that is gonna, that's what's driven us to think, right, get my canvas back out. I can do it. Just gonna take my time. And if I don't do it, so what? It goes in the bin. See? It's quite a lot of base on there. I'm gonna get some, um, there's like an oil you can get for your eyelashes to help them grow, because mine have come out a little bit. I don't know why, because they're actually quite good. I don't put makeup on and off as much as you might think I do doing the videos. I'm very careful when I remove them and I've been lucky to have nice eyelashes, but they're not great lately. So we'll sort that out. Okay, so let's go in with the colour here. What shall we do? I'm thinking something like, oh, I wonder if you know what? I'm going to go dirty dark. Look at that. I'm going to go in with this one. It's like a dark, khaki, greeny brown. And you know what? That looks really nice. But do we need, need to put a background colour on first, don't we? Yeah, we do. So I'm going to go in with this medium light one here and create a bit of a background before I go stomping in on the deep end. Which is what I'm good at doing. So I'm just going to push that 
right there just give it a bit of a crease color and then at least that way it's not going to be too much of a contrast I'm not sure if it's going to work but I've got an idea in my head I have got an idea in my head so uh, what have you been doing today what we've been doing this week actually because I think it's been a while since I've done a video maybe it's a couple of days but it was a while since I used to be on here quite often when I was furloughed but there just seems to be one thing or the other. My eyes are a bit crepey. That's nice. So when your eyes are crepey, you don't really want to put makeup on, do you? No, I know I don't. But we'll see. It's they're looking a little bit bright at the day. Yeah, I can't wait till lockdown goes so I can just get out and be with friends again. It's crazy. It's like sometime mind you i have enjoyed my own space and my own time like to draw to read i wanted to write but i hate writing it's irritating i hate typing as well so i don't really i don't really do that but i do make little notes and stuff in a little diary um and i log a load of stuff on carb carb manager yeah and fitbit um there's not really any other apps that I'm on. I do a lot of reading in my Facebook groups. I'm in a couple of groups and I love reading the stuff on there. But you can get so sidetracked going down rabbit holes and you think, oh, where's the day gone? And it can become addictive as well. You just, you're constantly scrolling and I feel like, uh oh, get out of that habit because it's not a good habit to have. Oh, I like what's done there. It's kind of diffused it, hasn't it? And at least when I go back over, we can leave that highlighted. I love this base. Look at that, now that I've got the colour on, it's not smudgy or sitting in the cracks and the creases, which is what happens when you have older eyes. You, But this is a really good primer. It's kind of ironed it right out. Really impressed with that. Now I think let's get, we need an eyeshadow brush. Do I have one? I think I just made one, yeah. I've washed it, it's got a little bit of pink on it still, because anything red doesn't come out as easy. And oh, that P. Louise eyeliner I used last time in my last video the bright pink honestly it's just come off my eyes now it was stuck there just stained it they always stain it so that's that was there for like over a week you know I looked like I'd been crying terrible I don't know what color this is I've lost the, the paper but it's the one in the bottom second in and it's quite nice oh look at that there we go we're gonna have to do some blending mind look at that very nice. Let's stick this right on. I don't want it too harsh. Ooh, hello. I feel like I've really got to pull the faces now though to get this oil on. So I used to not be one of them people. <laughs> I used to try not to anyway and get away with it. Now I'm one of them people that you see going. Oh. It's crazy. Oh, my eyes have been hurting as well lately. I think it's off staring at the phone. There, look at that. I'll come back over and I'll blend that out in a minute. I just want to stick it on first. Loving the colours. Really loving the colour of this. Actually, you know what? I'm lying. I can't see the colour. It's so dark in this bedroom. Can you actually see what I'm doing? Can you see our stuff? I haven't picked a, I haven't picked a lipstick deliberately because I know love I know a lot of you love hearing his rummage in the drawers so I'm going to let you see as I'm going to let you hear me rummaging on the video because I don't know what color I'm going to use of this yet I've, I've got an idea of what's to come but I'm still going to rummage for you I'm going to do a lucky dip soon as well because I've got loads of products sent in off you can't thank you enough I'm going to need to get it used up and enjoy it all there we go, we're going in that big brush again that I used for the diffuser colour. I'm just going to blend that out so it's not like too harsh. I don't know, I don't know if I like this one. It's alright, but it's a bit... Hmm. I feel like it's lost its sparkle. It looked sparkly in there, right? See? But look, it's got no sparkle to it. I think it's just gone matte so we're gonna have to put something on there can't have that can I have that there I 
want something dark. Come on. Really nice and dark, but sparkly. We'll go back over with that a bit, I think. Just on the outer corner. You know what? I would have actually liked to put a bit of black. I'm going to put a bit of black. Just a tiny touch, though. This that brush. Matte black. This one here. Shall I? No, 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 no. Ignore me. Ignore me. Chocolate. This is what I'm going to use. The in-between colour. And then we're going to blend that in. Ooh, now there we go. Give that a bit of a blend. It's a nice diffusing colour and it blends in lovely with the other one. Here we go. I've got like a clicking in my mouth like a dolphin. I don't know what it is. It always happens when I do a video. I'm not aware of it otherwise. But I can feel it right through to my ears. It's really weird. There we go. Get that brown on there. That's nice. Yeah. And I think what I might do is, as well, start teasing it out and up on the outer edge. Because I want to pop out, yeah, I want to blend this up and out. Not like that, though. That's a bit too much. So I'll just go back over here with that. Just any of you... Do any, do any of you, sorry, would you like to see any of my artwork on here? Like if I do like a, a quick run through or even do some lives, would you just watch it? Would you just be interested? I don't want to put stuff on my channel that you're not interested in, but if you are, let us know. Because <laughs> there's often times where I've done me, me acrylic paintings and I've thought, I could have filmed that, I don't know if anyone would be interested. I don't really follow suit. I've got my own little weird techniques. And I suppose I could do like a quicked up version, a sped up version, couldn't I? So that it doesn't drag out for years. Just going back in with this great big one here. Because I've gone a bit too. Have I? And what's happened is it's gone dark, light. So what you see, it looks like it's separate from, like that eye's smooth and flown. This one looks separate because I've got this shadow in here. Now I need to get rid of that. Definitely need to get rid of that. Get out of that, it's better. Take a clean brush and make it dirty. And then go back with your brown one. Oh, yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. We'll bring that up as well. Just push that out. Eee, dear me. As soon as we've eaten my dinner, we'll go and watch a bit of telly. And we'll watch Dinner Date and £600 Lives. Really interesting. But Dinner Date, the cook and loads of nice food. So we've just eaten my dinner and we're like, oh, we want to eat again. And then even with £600 people. They're eating lots of nice food from the takeaway. And I know it's not good for you, but you're thinking, oh. And this is surrounded by food and alcohol adverts, aren't you? And lots of stuff on the telly. And you think, oh, man, I'm just going to get rid of that before it settles. Probably have to go back over that with me sponge. There we go. It smells nice. I bought, oh, look at that. Quick cut off. Not supposed to be again. I've put it back, haven't I? <laughs> oh, God. Lauren, if only you. Now, look, I look like I've got a few bags. Quick. Colour that in quickly. And if someone's just joined in the video, they'll be like, what? You done? That's better for now. Could do with a bit of something there though. Look at that. Never mind. Right. Now we're going to go underneath with something as well. Take a pencil brush for this. This is what I love doing. I love doing it. Sometimes you've got to be careful though because it can make your eyes look a bit draggy. But, and when I mean that, I mean like pulling. But 
it also can make them look quite uniform and nice and it brings your top colour in with your bottom colour. So let's just go here with this one here. I'm sure I've used this one before. And we're going to go side swiping with the chocolate brown. That's going to be light enough so that it doesn't look too much and dark enough so that it doesn't look too light. And then what you can also do is, you can see what I'm doing. See, just I love the look of that. It's like an extra smoky look. And what you can do is fluff it out even more that, or even more than that, and then you can put your dark colour just here to accentuate it a little bit, and then out. Don't put dark on the inside corners because it can make your eyes look too closed in. So I'm 40 in December and I feel like I'm aware that I can't wear the looks that I used to wear but you still want to you definitely still want to it's exciting it's good to play with stuff and then what I'm going to do is take a clean pencil brush here just blend that out like I've got a little bit more control with this brush you can kind of push the color where you want it to go and put a bit more pressure on plus it's clean so I'm not adding stuff to it and making it extra I love that at the moment I've got a bit of eyeshadow here so it's looking a bit dark what I am going to do is put a tiny 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 bit of that one there just out the corner I think that went in my eye more than on the lid I don't want too much because then it looks so dark. That's not what we want. Oh my God, I've done that wrong. I'm going to have to blend that in now because it's too much. We'll get it on there here and then we'll blend, blend, blend. Have I got another pencil brush? Hope I have. Use this one. Backstage brushes this one. It's not a bad one. We'll get that blended out. Just need a clean brush. So I've got stuff all over my eye. It's where a Q-tip would have come in handy. Oh, yeah. Bring that in like that. There we go. I think I need to blend that out extremely well. So now, which should we go with? Probably the light one, this one here. And I'm just going to blend with this brush. Just to diffuse it a bit more because that's too much. I'm not comfortable with that at all. This is like super smoky. It's worked a bit, a bit. Go back in there again. Look, I've got panda eyes, don't I? Let's get this out of here. I did have Q-tips around, but I don't know where I put them. So we're gonna just get that with. There you go. Helps that inner corner not look so scary. So this isn't balanced. We need to balance that out. Now, which brush do I use? Where have I put it? Put it somewhere. Where have I put it? Ah. Try that. I feel like this one is less than this one. This one's quite thick coming round. That'll do. Let's 
Knock. That is a brilliant base. It's not budging, it's brilliant. I'm gonna just put some of that on now. A bit more of that brush. This only had a little bit of that dark chocolate matte on. Just to give it a bit more of a blend while I'm there. Soften it, the lines a bit. Right, some eyeliner. But I don't really want to go dark, so I'm going to go brown. This is Doll 10 Beauty Espresso Liner. Lovely. And I'm going to just use this. Because black would be nice. Black will look good. But I feel like I use a lot of black. And that looks dark enough to me. And it's espresso. So it's going to just go with what you're wearing. And it's not going to be too different. Kind of brings it all together subtly. Really loving Doll 10 Beauty products. I've not been let down once with them. In fact, it was pretty much all Doll 10 that I just grabbed when I went off to get married at Gretna Green. It was all in my makeup bag. Right, we need some liner, don't we? What liner should we use? Should we do a bit more blending? I think we do. Need to. I'm going to just go over the top of that there. This P. Louise base is absolutely fantastic. So well made up with this. In fact, it's just absolutely took me makeup blending to a whole new level because the base is so good. I love the blending on this one. It's no creasy, excellent. So impressed with them. Let's get me brows on. I just need an angled liner brush for this. I did have one out and I've put it away somewhere. Oh look, what have I got? That'll do. This is a MAC one. Tiny. Look at the tininess of it. I'm going with e.l.f. Eyes, lips, face. Just the dark. Anything dark. It helped if I. That's it. Just to give a bit of dark. Just to go through that. Because when you've got dark eyes, I do notice on myself, it's better to frame the eyebrows as dark as I can. Mind you, saying that, I've seen something. I don't know if it was Harper's Bazaar, because I follow on Instagram. But it was quite the rage to have very pale, blondish or even matted out eyebrows and then all the dark eye. So it just depends what you like the look of, doesn't it, really? I do like the dark on my eyebrows out as much as I can. And someone said they were in good nick. And it's because I don't pluck much. I don't. I used to shave them when I was very young. E my word. The amount of times I've had to hurry up and put my eyebrows back on because they come off, you know, overnight. That was a teenage thing that I never do again. Never shave your eyebrows. Oh, my God. I'm surprised they even grew back, but they have and I'm grateful. We're going to leave it there. Right. Now, I need an eyeliner, but I don't know what colour to use on the top. And I can't decide whether I want to go thick. Oh, I've got to. That is such a nice look. I love it. It's sort of smoky. I do feel like I need to be a bit more dark on here. Shall I do that? I'll probably regret it. Will I regret it? No, I haven't regretted it. I'm glad I did that. Right. Doll 10 Beauty, only because I don't know where my other one went. I did have a nice liner I love using. Shall I use that or shall I get another one? What time is it? No. No, yeah, yeah, we're going to get another one quickly. Am I? Am I? We're going to reach in to the magic pot. What have I got? No. Oh! I found an Ila Masca one. Because the P. Louise black one is a base, and I've tried it as an eyeliner, and it's very watery. It isn't like... So, we're going to use this one here, and I'm going to use one again sorted just use a P. Louise brush this is the acid ruin one I think it is and this is where it usually goes wrong for me I'm like on a roll until I put liner on doesn't matter how many times I do it can't get the thing to line up with the other eye right okay so because the lash 
because the look is dark anyway it's not really putting much on there so a little bit oh, just lift it up just a little bit I think I'm going to just leave it there I'm going to just darken the outer edge should I darken all the way in not not cutting it though because there's no point this is really just to get it near the lash line so looks dark against the lashes but I'm not going to go the full way in just like the if you imagine drawing a line there you want it don't know if you can see what I'm doing here it's just going to the outer corner and then just gently pick over it just to darken any gaps Where's me thing? Right. Get some mascara on and then we'll get the lips and everything done. I think for this one I need a heavy bronze look because it's just stunning. I love smoky looks. Should have kept this for a date night really but I might even put it back on and do use a different video. Hmm, might do. I don't know. I'm using this one again. Someone mentioned as a Sephora one which is similar but there's no Sephora here in the UK. But I might be able to get one online if I have a look. So I'll, I'll look into that because I love mascaras that do the trick. I just love it when they lift your lashes right up. Next time I'm going to do one earlier in the day because it's quite dark yet even though I've got all my ring lights on. It's just not working. And there's there's a difference. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Plus this eye's in the dark yeah, for me. I can't even see what I'm doing really. I'm surprised I haven't poked it out. Well, I really am digging this look. It's proper smoky. And for me age 40, I'm happy with how blended and smoky it is. I don't feel like I look too much. I would happily go out like this. Absolutely happily. I might even put a bit of colour on. Not today. like, But, you know. I would probably even go as far to chuck some colourful liner on. Just to push it, you know. I like to do that. Right, I think I'm happy with the lashes. They're done. Let's get some bronzer on now. I've got a couple of options here. I do love my Bobby Brown one. The golden light's just fine for me. It's perfect. But I'm going to go in with this one here. So I'm using the Airshow brushes. A lot of you have bought them, thank you. They're not mine, but I do get a little percentage when you buy through my link and you use Panacea 81. So this one here is Nip and Fab. Oh, they've got this retinol night cream and, and I need to buy I need to get some. Oh, it absolutely smells divine. And my skin used to feel amazing. The only thing you've got to be very careful is don't use it in the daylight, sun sunwise. There's a day version, but I wouldn't if you're gonna use it, make sure you've got your plenty of SPF sunscreen. Because it's um can be harmful for the skin, retinol with the sun. Just make sure you've got your sunscreen on okay but the night one i just make sure i put it on at night and then super scrub my eye my face in the morning i love putting bronzer down here i just want to really be striking bronzer today but right down here And then over that I'm going to put some blush. I'm going to be using Milani blush again because to this thing it just go well with this look. Oh, start up here, Lauren. Start up here. I'm getting ahead of myself on there. 29 minutes. Oof.
I want to look chiselled. I'm going to have to stop doing that though, aren't I? Look at that. Here we go. Let's get rid of this neck. Hi, get rid of that. Shadow it out. And I like these little bits. I don't know why, but they make you feel a bit. I don't know. I just like them. I like them. So we're going to leave them there. Oh no, I think it's because I've noticed on some of the Instagram pictures of the models, they've got it all like taped to the head. That kind of that thing. Do you know what I mean by that? Tell us if you do. I don't think I'm nutter. I really don't think I'm nutter. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere and it looks youthful. Right. Now we're going to go in with this different brush. This is the coffee colour set. And we're going in with Milani. This one here is Sunset Passion, number 15. And it is beautiful. You don't need a lot. But it is so stunning. Look at it. In fact, it's probably one of the my most favourite blushes I've come across. Just love it. Just swirl that back and forward into that bronzer. Just love it. The looks coming together. I'm really quite pleased with this one. I think Martin's going to be impressed as well. Right, lips. I don't know. Shall I have a look? Let's have a look. Do we need a... Do we need a... Mm. Have we got anything? Like a liner? Have we got a liner? Ooh, Revolution liner. That might be... We rule. Should we try that one? Or is that going to be too light? Oh my God. I think that's going to be too light. Look at it. It's very light, that, isn't it? Yeah, that's not even showing up on my hand. That can't be used for this look. That's going to be like a light peachy look. Too light. Let's have a look. I've got to be careful what I do here because if I move, all the set just falls down because it's not like a proper set. Really need to work on that. What's this one? Infallible? Gone with the nude? Might be. Oh, hell yeah. That's the one we're going with. Right, this one's Infallible L'Oreal. I've just read the name. Gone with the nude, number 101. Ready? I could do a sharpening that, but I haven't got time, so. Oh, I like. I'll put something over the top of this though. I'm going to accentuate them right out today. I've got a foundation stuck on my lips as well. On my dry lips. Gone. It's all stumpy now. Now. I do like that colour. It needs something, doesn't it? Ready for the rummage? Matte ink. With oh. What's this one? Oh. Oh, I've got some choices here. We've got this one, Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Darling. I think that's the ones that dry matte. This one here, Charlotte Pillow Talk. Oh, I think, you know what? I think that's the one. I think that may be the one. This one here as well, really nice. Might be nice. That's that liquid matte from Maybelline. Shall we use Maybelline? Oh, I, I want something not that. Oh, oh go on then. I'll have this one. Oh, mm -hmm. that's the one. Be careful because this stuff sticks to your teeth like every minute, every second. It's 
think I'm done. I think I'm impressed with this look. In fact, yes, I am. I'm impressed with this look. I do, do very much like this look. I hope you do too. Look at the blending. That P. Louise base is just brilliant. Look, no creases at all. Oh, yeah. I like this look very much so. I'm going to take a photo of it. I might put it on Instagram. Actually, it'll say it's done it again. Just gathers on your teeth. Mm, well, see that? I can feel it. Got to be careful. So, so, yeah. Just be careful until it dries because this stuff does stick to your teeth and it looks weird. Not like any other lip stuff. Anyway, I really, 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 really hope you've enjoyed this look. It's cheered me right up, actually. And I'm loving the P. Louise base. Thank you very much, Ashley. She sent us loads. Oh. She sent this pack. Absolutely chock-a-block. We've got loads to get through. I'm just scared because the stain. But I was looking at looks for this. This one here, I've got a really good idea. Something lilac and pink and white. And then that would be a great one for blue base. Got loads of ideas here. And that one's too light, but I'm going to give it a go. See if you're doing a bit of highlight. Really impressed with this. There you go. I really hope you've enjoyed. Let us know how you are keeping. Stay in touch, and I shall see you on a bit. Zoom, zoom.